Hello and welcome back to the Coach's Legacy channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to create a virtual machine in Oracle Cloud. Oracle Cloud is a really great service that gives you a whole bunch of different things, such as the ability to create virtual machines for free, and emphasis on free, okay, because there's not a lot of services that do that. So there's a whole bunch of different things that you can see over here on this page that they offer for free. There's like a whole bunch of them, and there's like multiple pages. So the thing that we really want to focus on is this, okay, the virtual machine. There's also this virtual machine over here, but this one is not so great. It just gives you a single CPU core and one GB of RAM. We're interested in this one, okay? So this one basically allows us to, cr it gives us 24 GB of RAM, a maximum, and it gives us, this translates to about four cores four CPU cores. And the cool thing is that we can either choose to create one virtual machine of four CPU cores and 24 GB RAM, or we can create four virtual machines, each having one CPU core and six GB RAM. Or you could create two virtual machines having two CPU cores and 12 GB RAM each. With that said, let's actually begin creating our virtual machine. So let's go to the Oracle homepage over here. Now, what you want to do is open up this menu, or you can type in the search bar, compute, okay? Go to instances, and here we can create our virtual machines. As you can see, I already have one virtual machine up and running. Let's create a new one. I just made the simple one CPU core and six GB RAM, and we'll create another one like this right now. You can give it a unique name if you want to. I'll just call mine tutorial01. Right, so over here is where we can pick the operating system and we can pick the type of virtual machine. So let's pick our operating system. We'll go with Linux, Ubuntu, and we'll pick the latest version. All right, so the next thing we'll do is pick the type of machine. So we can either pick an AMD one because we're offered one of these uh, CPU core for free and one GB of RAM but um, that's not so great, right? The, there's a better choice we can get over here where you can you know, get a maximum of four, of four CPU cores and 24 GB RAM. So we can, for example, create um, two CPU cores and 12 GB RAM. Let's do that, okay? And we'll create this virtual machine. And yeah, now everything else you can leave as default. You don't really need to change any of this, okay? unless you have a good reason for doing so. What you want to do here, though, is download your private key. Okay, the public key, not so important, but the private key you want to save and download. All right, so once that's downloaded, just proceed. And um, yeah, everything else we can leave as default. Okay, and we'll click Create. All right, so our virtual machine is created. It's worth noting that the location of your virtual machine is going to be the region that you picked during sign up. Okay, so I picked like Toronto and we can verify this uh, by just doing an IP lookup. Okay, just search your IP over here and it should show you which country it's in. And this is usually pretty relevant when you're creating a virtual machine. Okay, and yeah, see, it's Canada, Ontario, Toronto. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There's not much to do here. You can stop your virtual machine, start it if it's not already running. It's already running, so we don't need to do that. Or you can terminate it if you don't want it anymore. Um, so what we really want to do now is to access this virtual machine, right? How do we do so? Well, what you're going to do is open up the command prompt. And over here, you're going to do ssh-i. Then you'll give the path to your keys to your private key that you downloaded, okay? Then you're going to give your username, which is Ubuntu. You can check that over here, by the way, okay? Then you're going to put your IP. You'll do at the rate, then paste your IP in, and then you'll connect, okay? Just type yes, and any minute now we're in, okay? So we can just quickly do a test, create a directory, list it, Yep, we're all good to go. So there is one hack I want to quickly share with you guys before we end the video. This is really important, so listen carefully. 
basically, if you're on the free plan in Oracle, which doesn't require you to add a credit card, what's going to happen is that your VMs might get deallocated if you're not using them for a few hours or a day or two. Okay, deallocated, not deleted. Okay, um, so to avoid this, what you can do is add, basically upgrade your account to pay as you go, which basically involves adding a credit card. Okay. And it's going to verify your credit card. It'll make a payment, uh, 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 like withdraw some money, then deposit it back. It's going to be a few dollars or something. So um, this is something that you probably want to do if you're serious about, uh, you know, using your VMs for some uh, extensive or long, long purpose, long durations. Um, the reason being that, you know, it's going to shut down otherwise. But when you're on pay as you go, uh, your VM will never be shut down. Okay, that's important to keep in mind. Uh, the downside is, however, that if you go over the limit, the free limits are still avail available to you if you upgrade your account. But if you go over the limit, you'll get charged. Okay, so this is something that you need to keep in mind. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful.